Well, my dear students, the course is Labor Policy Pakistan and the topic is Benefits. Or relevant section jo hai was section 22 of the Employees Old Age Benefits Act 1976. Hai. My dear students, an insured person shall be entitled to a monthly old age pension at the rate specified in the schedule. Ke ek insured person jo hai, wo monthly old age pension ke liye entitled hai aur uska kya rate hoga pension ki payment ka wo schedule jo hota hai wo determine kare. Provided that. Ab ye dekhen, ye jo upar baat ki gai hai, wo ye ki gai hai ke wo entitled hai pension ke liye aur rate hoga schedule ke mutabak to uske saath dekhen proviso laga diya gaya hai. और प्रोविजो मैं आपको मैनी अ टाइम्स बता चुका हूं कि प्रोविजो जो है वो जनरल स्टेटमेंट के बाद आता है और ये जनरल स्टेटमेंट में एक्सेप्शन एडिशन या कंडीशन इंट्रोड्यूस करवाता है प्रोवाइडेड दैट ही इज ओवर 60 इयर्स ऑफ एज कंडीशन लगा दी कि पेंशन उसे मिलेगी जिसकी उम्र 60 से ऊपर है और अगर कोई खातून है तो 55 इयर्स से ऊपर है and next jo iske sath proviso ki extension hai wo ye hai ke contribution in respect of him were paid for not less than 15 years iska matlab hai jo shakhs pension lega uske zimmen mein jo contribution institution ko gayi hai wo kam az kam 15 saal ki ho provided further that the age Specified in clause A will be reduced by five years in the case of an insured person employed in the occupation of mining for at least ten years immediately preceding retirement. So, my dear students, agar jo age hai sixty years ya fifty five years se wo ten years ko reduce or reduce ki ja sakti hai agar unka taluk jo hai wo mining se related hai. Provided also that where the employee was insured under the provision of this act on or before 30th June 2002 and contributions payable under the act by the employer prior to 30th June 2002 in respect of said insured person had not been paid, the insured person shall enjoy the rights under this act as if for the word payable, the word paid were not substituted. My dear students, provided further that where the contribution under section 9b is paid regularly by the insured person himself in accordance with prescribed procedure, his entitlement to the benefit shall not be affected by default in payment of employer's share of contribution under section 9. Now let's move on to Subsection 2. If an insured person was on the first day of July 1976 or is on any day thereafter on which this act becomes applicable to an industrial establishment, my dear students, over 40 years of age or 35 years in the case of woman, clause B of subsection 1 shall have effect as if for the word 7 were substituted or over 45 years of age or 40 years in case of a woman, clause B of subsection 1 shall have effect, my dear students, as if for the word 15, therein the word 5 were substituted. Provided further that nothing in this section shall apply to an employee insured under this act on or after 1st day of July 2008. Sections इस सेक्शन का जो सब सेक्शन है वो सेक्शन 2A है वो क्या कहता है नॉटविथस्टैंडिंग अब नॉटविथस्टैंडिंग का आपको पहले भी बताया था कि मानी ये है कि जो कुछ भी लिखा है किसी और लॉ में उसकी कोई वैल्यू नहीं है यहां पर जो बात लिखी जा रही है उसकी वैल्यू है तो नॉटविथस्टैंडिंग एनीथिंग कंटेंड इन सब सेक्शन 1 एन इंश्योर्ड पर्सन हु वाज इंश्योर्ड अंडर द प्रोविजंस ऑफ दिस एक्ट on or before the 30th June 1986 
and will attain the age of 55 years, 55 years in the case of a woman or on or before the 30th June 1991 and in respect of whom contributions were payable to the institution for the period required under the provision of this act shall be entitled, notice karne wali baat, shall be entitled to old age pension at the age of 55 years and 50 years in the case of a woman, my dear student. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you very much indeed.